Hello guys and welcome back to TechWolf. In this video we are going to set up a network on VirtualBox and we are going to set up a network for our Windows Server and for two Windows 11 machines which we will be using in this Active Directory and Windows Server course. And in next tutorial we will be connecting these two Windows 11 machines to our Active Directory to our Windows Server. As you know, now we have set up or installed this Windows Server, we have installed or set up these Windows 11 machines, we have configured our server and we have installed Active Directory on our Windows Server and now we need them to be on the same network and this is what we will be doing in this video. So to create a network to make sure that these all three machines are on the same network let's start with our Windows Server 2025. Click on this Windows Server and click on settings and in this tab which opens on the left hand side click into network make sure that you are in adapter 1 and currently we are attached to NAT. Here in this drop down select and click on internal network. Here in the next field where it says name, we need to give a name to this network. We will call this network AD Network for Active Directory Network. You can call this network however you want. And here make sure that it is cable connected and click on OK. And similar way we need to set up this network settings for our Windows machine. So let's start with Windows 11-2. Click on it. Again click on settings. Here in the left hand side click on network, make sure that it is an adapter 1 where it says attach to, click in this drop down and select internal network and here in name field type in AD network and also make sure that cable connected is selected and click on OK. And now let's do exactly the same for our first Windows 11 machine, click on it, click on settings, click on network, make sure it's an adapter 1 and attach it to select internal network and in name field type in AD network. Make sure it's cable connected and click on OK. And once we have added these three virtual machines to the same network now we need to configure IP addresses and subnet masks and DNS for all these three machines. So let's open these three machines. Let's open first Windows Server 2025, select it and click on start. Here in the top navigation click on input, keyboard, insert, alt, delete. Here you can see that we are in our domain which we created for our active directory on this Windows server, my domain backslash administrator and here we log in the login details which we created in previous tutorials. And similar way let's open our Windows machines. And in the next step, once we have opened all these three virtual machines, our Windows Server and our two instances of Windows 11, we need to set a static IP address. And you might ask why we need to do this and the purpose is that each machine requires a unique static IP to communicate with the network. And the Windows 11 machines need to use the Windows Server as their DNS server to resolve the domain name. Here we will start with our Windows Server to right click on start icon in Windows Server and click into the system. In this window on the left hand side you will see network and internet. Click into network and internet. Click into Ethernet and here you will see IP assignment manual. And as you remember in one of previous tutorials when we were setting up our Windows Server or configuring DHCP we already assigned it IP address. As you can see here in this field IP assignment is set to manual. IPv4 address is 192.168.1.10. We also added IPv4 gateway which is 192.168.1.1. Here click on edit and here make sure that you have added IP address as 192.168.1.10. Your subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and gateway address is 192.168.1.1 and preferred DNS is set to 100 then 27.0.0.1 and once you have done this click on save and once we have configured our server now let's configure our Windows machines. Let's start with Windows 11 which is our first machine as you can see here on the top bar Windows 11 and then we have this second one which is Windows 11-2. So let's start by configuring the very first Windows machine. To do that in search type in control panel 
I will show you another way how you can configure these settings which we configured for server. For server you can do exactly this the same way as I will show you also now guys. Click here into control panel and here select network and internet. Here call select network and sharing center. And here on the left hand side you will see change adapter settings. Click into this link change adapter settings. Here you will see this ethernet adapter. Right click on it and click on properties. And this pop up which will come up click on internet protocol version 4 TCP IP and select properties. Here we need to change IP addresses. If by default it is in your scenario obtain IP address automatically this means that it is obtaining it from DHCP server or from DHCP which is set up on your router for example. But in our scenario it is not like that because we are using virtual machine. I am just telling you that this will be in real world scenario. So here select on use the following IP address and here in IP address we need to type in 192.168 as we need to add it in the same IP range also dot one and we will add it to dot 20. So this very first machine Windows 11 will be with IP address 192.168.1.20 then click into subnet mask field it will get populated automatically preferred DNS delete this all together but here where it says default gateway there we need to set the same IP address which is for our Windows server as these machines will be connecting or talking to our Windows server so we are typing in 192.168 dot one dot ten as you remember this is the address of our windows server and once you have done this click on ok and exactly the same we need to do for our other windows machine also type in control panel in search search for control panel click into control panel here go to network and internet here network and sharing center and on the left hand side change adapter settings and here right click on this in adapter and click on to properties. And here we need to select internet protocol version 4 TCP IP and click into properties and here also if it is by default in obtain IP address automatically select use the following IP address and here in IP address field let's type in 192.168.1.1 and for this Windows machine we will end this IP address with 21. For second Windows 11 computer we will give IP address which is ending with 21. For first one as you remember we ended it with 20 so they are on this in the same IP range. And now click into subnet mask it will get populated automatically and default gateway we need to give IP address which we assign to our Windows server so 192.168.1 dot 10 as this is our Windows Server IP address and click on OK. And now let's close this down and now let's do some pinging and let's check that these three machines are able to communicate with each other. Let's open in this Windows 11-2 which is our second computer CMD or command prompt. Type in CMD in search, hit enter and now from this machine let's try to ping our Windows Server ping. And IP address of our server which is 192.168.1.10 and hit enter. And as you can see pinging is taking place this means that this second computer is able now or is able to talk to our Windows server. Let's do exactly the same but in this case let's ping 192.168.20. So we can see make sure that this computer is able to talk also to our first computer Windows 11. So hit enter and we can see that pinging is also taking place. Let's close this down. Let's go now to our server and in our server let's do exactly the same. Type in in search cmd or command prompt and from this windows server let's try to ping our computers and make sure that we are able to communicate to them and we are on the same network. So ping 192.168.1.20. This is our first machine. Pinging is taking place. Now now let's ping another one which ends with 21 so we are pinging 192.168.1.21 let's click hit enter
center and we can see that these three machines are able to communicate so now these all three machines are on the same network we have in this video we have created a private network we have added all these three machines to this network and we assign them to the same IP range and we made these two Windows machines which is Windows 11 and Windows 11-2 to use Windows Server as their DNS server as in gateway for these two Windows machines or Windows computers we added the IP address of our Windows Server so in next video we are going to add these two computers to users we will be creating users in our active directory on Windows Server and we will be adding computers to these users and this is like in real world scenario for example some people come and join your company and you are assigning them these computers and this is what we are going to do in real world scenario logically these will be real computers like but here we are doing this exactly the same or emulating real world scenario where we are setting up an active directory windows server and we are assigning computers to users when they are joining our company so yes guys if you found this video useful leave a like share this video subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one